So yeah, the whole writing process for Beast, our previous record, uh, we wrote that rapidly. We had just announced that we were back. We were very anxious to get back on the road, put some new music out. The end result was very raw, aggressive, very reminiscent of our older, more death metal oriented records. And uh, this time around with uh, Purgatory, uh, we had a lot of time, you know, we, uh, we only tour maybe one month out of the year, so we had a lot of time to experiment, uh, write songs, improve them here and there, and uh, ultimately I feel as though uh, this new record is a lot more, there is a lot more variety to it. Uh, um, the Spies Icon has always been uh, split into two writing teams. Uh, the first one being uh, Eric and myself, Eric the guitar player. Fun thing about working with Eric is, you know, I, I come from a drumming background. I used to be the drummer on our first record. Uh, so, um, um, often, uh, I, what, what I've experienced in the past is often certain guitar players will, so, will, will sort of discredit your ideas because you don't have that melodic background, but Eric actually really pays attention, listens to my ideas, sees the potential, and, uh, you know, I just start humming a, a, a whole bunch of riffs. Uh, sometimes I send him vocal notes, and he actually picks it up on the guitar, uh, makes it a whole lot better, obviously, and uh, that's how he and I have been writing. We write more like the moshy, uh, slammier stuff together, more groove-oriented, and then the second writing team uh, consists of Eric, once again, guitar player, and Alex Grind, our drummer, and uh, those are like the more faster, more technical songs, and once again, Eric is uh, really pays attention to uh, Grind's ideas, and uh, Maybe that's what uh, sets us apart from, uh, from uh, a lot of other bands. We often ri uh, start writing with the drums, you know? So we are very rhythmic. We've always had that groove element to our music. Still to this date, I don't know how he does those sounds. You know, he can go from like the really low gutturals all the way to those high-pitched grindcore screams. And, and I've tried, man, but I just can't pull it off. So I'm just right there doing the mids. But yeah, Steve is, is amazing. Uh, I learned a lot from singing with him. Every time we play a show, people always talk about MVP. And so with this record in particular, we wanted to outdo ourselves and top that fucking song. So we wrote our two fastest songs, uh, Light Speed, uh, which Whenever I listen to that song, it's very reminiscent of uh, Cryptopsy, Whisper Supremacy. That record, I don't know why, it's been quite influential on all of us. Same for Cryptopsy and Unsolvile. We're from Montreal, uh, seeing them at an early age, uh, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, actually touring the world and, that, and, and all that. That was actually quite inspirational. And then the other one is Unbreakable, uh, which I can't wait for you guys to listen to. But uh, yeah, all in all, uh, this record, I feel, is uh, I feel like we acknowledged a lot more every era of the band. So if you're more into Ills of Modern Man or Day of Mourning, we have a lot of those elements on the new record. And also we always try to stay one step ahead of the pack. So we introduced new ideas here and there. And uh, you'll just have to listen to the record and find out what they are. Yeah.